Hey guys, how's it going today? So I'm going to do this uh, quick video on a few Chris Reeve knives that I have and I'm going to entitle this EDC Rotation Chris Reeve. I have other Chris Reeve knives but these are like the basics for me. My faves, the ones that get rotated, I won't say daily because a fixed bladed uh, doesn't normally get <laughs> EDC. That's like a camp knife or whatever. But um, I'll actually start with that knife. I, I have a large Um Num Zan, or StarTac Um Num Zan, and a small Tanto 21. So I'm going to put those aside for right now. Those are the knives I carry daily. This knife here I just got, and I've had Chris Reeve One Piece knives. It's been a while since I've had one. I got rid of them, and it wasn't so much I didn't use them or anything like that. I think it was just circumstantial at the time. I was probably, um, you know, knowing that they're readily available, decided just just to move it to get some other things or whatnot. So in the meantime, of course, Chris Reeve stopped making his one piece line, and um, now they're skyrocketing in prices. I picked this one up from my buddy Dave Fuji, Fuji on the Blade Forums. This is a Sable 4. And it's it's actually one that I've never had before that I've wanted. They were one of the more sought after pieces. Um, when somebody would get them in stock, they'd, they'd move immediately. You know, the Mountaineers and, and Shadows and stuff like that were, were available. But uh, the Sables and there was an Elmar version a Chris Reeve Elmar collaboration in the Sable configuration that's uh, very desirable too. So anyhow, I just picked this one up the other day. I just got it in the mail. Of course, like I said, it's the Sable 4. Great knife, great knife. I, I love the size of it. It's got a five and a half inch blade. Of course, it's got that, uh, the call guard, I think they call it call guard coating on it. All one piece, A2 design. And for a five and a half inch blade, I, I doubt I would try to gut a deer with it. I could. It, it might be a better skinner. But that's why I like this design because it kind of lends itself to any kind of field work you would you could do or would want to do uh, without it being too bulky. Uh, this one's got a razor edge on it. Um, you still have the piercing tip. I love the one piece one piece. Uh, cross guard design so you can choke up and they have of course jimping there so it just fits well in hand you can see the size of the knife and uh, I guess this video wouldn't be complete if, if I didn't unscrew the cap to show you very clean you can put a compass in there matches Fishing line, hooks, money, lighter, whatever you feel you may need in a emergency situation. But it's it's one of those things about the knife that I really like. Again, it, the one piece design. It's, of course, O ring sealed for waterproofness. So allows you to choke up on it. Really like this knife. Very nice. Of course, this uh, was a custom sheath that um, that Chris used to have make him make him sheaves, uh, even for his Sabenzas. I believe they went out of business. So, and that's another thing I like about this particular sheath, as opposed to other, um, like on the sh on the uh, the shadows and other ones, where it has a where you have the double cross guard. And it has a snap closure because that can get worn out. I mean, this just slides in. And it's not going anywhere. So that's that. So yeah, that would be my field knife. My daily carry, Chris Reeve knife, is my beat up. Uh, True North Knives exclusives. Uh, small 21 Tanto. Pardon me.